Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwan, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today we're gonna do Cooking with David. We're gonna do a chicken fried chicken meal. There's gonna be a breaded fried chicken breast meat uh, with a side of um, creamy mashed potatoes with some sweet seasoned corn, all covered with country style gravy. Mm -hmm. So here are your ingredients. So what I'm going to put on this plate is exactly what I just said. A chicken fried chicken meal, country style gravy with creamy mashed potatoes with breaded fried chicken breast patty with rib meat and sweet corn. So this is how you prepare it. You have to take it out of its packaging first. Okay. So this is what you see when you open it up. These are our necessary ingredients. Make sure you get all of it on there. Here's our delicious breaded fried chicken meat. Okay. Now I'm the type of person, one box isn't enough. Okay. So I got another one here. <laughs> Same style. We got 100% natural chicken breast with rib, rib meat. Banquet invites you to pull up a chair and enjoy classic made in America comfort food. Like you, we believe in quality and good honest value and trust uh, you'll taste it in our chicken fried, uh, chicken covered in country style gravy and served with creamy mashed potatoes and sweet corn. Proudly made in the USA. Okay. So I'm gonna open this other one. And now we put this plate in the microwave. Set, let the instructions say in the back of the box. Microwave on high three minutes, stir the mashed potatoes, microwave on additional two minutes. So five minutes in all. These are recommended instructions. No need to stop right in the middle just to stir the potatoes. They'll stir themselves in there when they melt. <laughs> Let me wash my hands here. So now we wait. Uh, so, some of you guys are probably wondering uh, what I've been doing recently. I did watch Kong Skull Island, okay? Stars Samuel L. Jackson, the guy who plays Loki in the MCU, uh, Brie Larson who plays Captain Marvel in the Marvel, um, like Avengers movies and stuff. She's in it also. Um, uh, John C. Riley, who is uh, in Step Brothers with uh, Will Ferrell, he's in it also. Okay, he plays a soldier that was stranded there in Skull Island for a while. He he got he got old, right? The end of the movie was sweet because he uh, he once he got off the island, he uh, met with his family and stuff like that. It's really cool. Okay, tons of special effects, tons of action. I really enjoyed it. Okay, so Kong Skull Island, check it out if you haven't seen it already. Um, Another movie I saw is kind of related to that. It is The Rebirth of Mothra, okay? It's another like giant monster movies. So there's like three movies in the trilogy. I saw all three of them, okay? Uh, the first Rebirth of Mothra, uh, Mothra was fighting um, Des Ghidorah, okay? It looks like King Ghidorah, but instead of like gold skin, it was like black and red, okay? Uh, red, red and black uh, skin. So it looks like King Ghidorah, but it was instead of yellow and gold, it was uh, red and black. Okay, so just like, a, it's like King Ghidorah's brother or something like that, uh, related, okay? Uh, the second movie uh, was uh, Degara or something. It was a one-headed dragon, but the dragon actually could, like swim and stuff like that. 
and uh, try to pull Mothra down into the water and stuff like that. And in the third movie, the final uh, movie in the trilogy, uh, Mothra fought King Ghidorah himself. Okay, so three-headed giant beast versus Mothra. It was one epic battle, man. There was like there was time travel, and there were like uh, uh, you know uh, hostage situations, and you know the fairies trying to help out Mothra and stuff like that. New generations and rebirth and whatever. It was also a story of teamwork and friendship and stuff because they had these little kids. Every single movie had a group of kids who was trying to like help Mothra and help the fairies out and stuff like that. Uh, I do have the movie digitally also, but when I bought it digitally, uh, when, when I bought the Blu-ray, which came with a digital code. I put in a digital code, and the movies don't have, uh, uh, it's just Japanese, okay? So if you go to the digital version, it's just Japanese. But on the Blu-ray, it does have, like, an English dub version where all, everyone's, like, speaking English, right? And it does match with the, with the subtitles and stuff like that, too. So I enjoyed the movie. Check it out if you haven't already, okay? We got, like, two minutes left before the food comes out. Um, let's see, what else have I been doing? Um, I did go shopping. Like, see, right now, we're still in the pandemic, okay? The coronavirus is still going on. Everyone's on lockdown. Everyone's in their homes, quarantine. You know, if you have to go out, wear a mask, wear gloves, stuff like that, right? Everyone's trying to stay six feet apart from each other and stuff like that. Maybe in the future, this is like a, a, a regular thing. But right now, it's like, it's really weird for us because it's like just starting, okay? So the coronavirus has only been out for like a month. Uh, I don't know when the vaccine or cure is ever going to come out, and I don't know if things will, uh, will calm down. No one's going to church. No one's going to school, okay? Right now, me being a teacher, I do teach uh, online classes, okay? I, I uh, do a short lecture, tell them to watch a certain video or whatever, okay? I give them you know, a very few amount of problems and stuff during these hard times, like the principal and all the administration is like, if the kids grunt in class or cough, that's enough participation. <laughs> Give them participation points for that, okay? But it, uh, don't make them work too hard and stuff like that. It's, it's a hard time for everyone, okay? Uh, that being said, uh, the teachers want to close the school year off on a good note. So we're going to do a parade. So all the teachers report to the school, stand outside the parking lot, you know, and uh, the kids will just uh, wave from their cars as they move by, parents and, and, and uh, students, okay? Very interesting, very weird, but th that's gonna happen. It's gonna be like an end of the year parade where all the teachers stand outside of the building and then you just move through like a, like a little parade, uh, say bye to your teachers that way, okay? I'll probably like hold up a sign or something that says like, uh, have a good summer or something like that. camera over here you're gonna see the food in a little bit That's a good thumbnail right there. <laughs> All right, time to eat this delicious meal. So for those of you who are like wondering, there's a good thumbnail right there. So, uh, yeah, we already read that little uh, mission statement or whatever it is. Calories, 330, okay? 
Total fat, 14. Sodium, 1,100 milligrams. Total sugar, 5 grams. Yeah, well, look. There's a QR code right there. Scan that, okay? And you'll, uh... You'll get more information. Made in the USA since 1953, it says. 1953. Made with 100% natural chicken breast. Okay. Say my prayers. Let's eat. Get a little potatoes. Mmm. Well, there's not much flavor to it, but yeah. <laughs> Get some of these mashed potatoes. <clears throat> what about the sweet seasoned corn? Mm-hmm. Try and get some of that country gravy on there. <laughs> I'm trying to find the perfect thumbnail. Oh, crap. I spilled some of this uh, seasoned corn juice. All right. Chicken breast, huh? Mm-hmm. Right now, you guys are probably thinking, what am I doing with my life watching this guy eat on YouTube? <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn off and just enjoy my lunch, okay? Talk guys later. Bye-bye.